you can use the same snowboard as you do in ski resorts for snow kiting. Almost every kind of snowboard will work, with the exception of racing boards, as long as it has a twin tip shape. Still, there are some characteristics you should look for when choosing a board that you'll be using for snow kiting. Most of the time, you'll be riding on the heel edge, so it's very important that your board is not too narrow. Narrow boards will cause heel drag from your boots, which will slow you down. A wider board is also preferable because it gives you better float in the powder. Since you won't be doing much turning from heel to toe edge, there is really no need for a large side cut radius. Even when going downhill, you'll mostly be riding on your heel edge. Less side cut will also provide better edging at high speed and increased control for jumping. The length of the board should be somewhere between your chin and the tip of your nose. Still, you can ride a shorter board while snow kiting than you would riding in a ski resort. A snow kite specific board, like this Remy Mayhem Pro model from Nobolet, is designed from the ground up for kiting, making it the absolute best choice. The board is a symmetrical twin tip with very little side cut. The board's flex is also designed with snow kiting in mind, providing a very comfortable ride in high speeds and icy conditions. The standard setup of having both bindings angled forward and positioned towards the back of the board is a bad choice, as you'll be riding both ways equally much. Reposition your bindings at the center of the board with a slightly wider stance than you would use normally. You should also angle your bindings slightly out towards each tip. This type of stance is called duck stance. Regular snowboard bindings work fine, but you'll save yourself a lot of hassle by getting step-in bindings or bindings with a retractable high back. This makes it a lot easier to enter the bindings while keeping your kite in the air. It's also of great assistance to sea kite riders who may have to remove one binding in order to relaunch the kite. If you're an experienced kiteboarder who wants to do advanced freestyle moves, such as handle passes, you should look for boards and bindings that are as lightweight as possible. It's a great deal heavier to perform these sorts of maneuvers with a snowboard than a board that's made for kiting on water.